All right guys, today we've got a video showing you how to remove the queue system from any 2014 to 2019 Cadillac CTS. This includes the V models as well. So the most common issue we see on the queue systems is like a peeling, spiderweb, or delaminated kind of cracked appearance. The second most common issue is unresponsive, frozen, or maybe the, the screen is stuck on the warning page. And then finally, sometimes we see it randomly or erratically touching, red lights beeping, um, jumping around, that kind of stuff. And ultimately it's caused from a defective factory touchscreen design. So inside the layers of the factory screen, we can see that there's like a glue gel adhesive that tends to dry out after a few years into like a hard powder and cannot transmit touch properly. So that's the reason for all of those common issues. Our screens are gel free, meaning that we don't use any gel substance. As you can see, there's nothing there. And we use a different method to bond the layers together and there's no uh, gel to dry out. Other improvements this year, we've got a nice gloss black bezel. That's a perfect match to the factory. Uh, the factory equipment. We have a crystal clear glass upgrade, so there's no longer orange peel or any sort of distortion in the window. It's going to be a much sharper resolution. And the best upgrade is the dual mode custom chip. So this means that it works with all queue systems. No longer do you have to check your part numbers or uh, make sure it's been replaced in the past. The premium dual mode works with all queue systems, old and new, whether it starts with two or eight. So that's great news this year. Also, we've improved the proximity sensor for better hand recognition and the satin chrome trim color has been tuned to be more accurate as well. Finally, the screw positioning is better and will make your installation easier. All of these things are meant for uh, an improved customer experience. You can order this new product at QScreens.com. All right, let's get started. The first step is you're gonna to wanna to use your blue trim tool to remove the grill from the dash. This is really simple. It's held in place with little spring friction clips. So you wanna wedge your blue trim tool between the dash and the grill, and then kinda of just push up and the clips will pop up just like that. You can kinda of lift up on it. And uh, the next step we're gonna do is removing the little light for your alarm system. So simply grab that unit. Um, you don't need to disconnect the harness. Just kinda of grab it and twist it counterclockwise, and it'll come loose from the, the round receptacle on that grill. Now that the grill is free, you can remove this from the dash. All right, now with the dash grill removed, we can remove the five seven millimeter bolts that are holding that piece on. Uh, they're shown in the photo in yellow there. And this really helps if you have a smaller low profile ratchet with your seven millimeter socket because some of the clearance is tight with the windshield. So go ahead and remove all of those bolts. Try and avoid dropping the bolts in the dash, of course. Yeah, this bolt here in the corner by the A-pillar, that's the toughest one to reach. Here in the photo, we've got a low profile socket with a low profile wrench. You can use something similar like a low profile um, seven millimeter ratcheting wrench, that would work. Uh, but really you're just trying to avoid dropping it, try and avoid cracking the windshield. Just kind of be careful, have patience on this one. It's the trickiest uh, for sure. All right, now with those bolts out of the way, you can just lift upwards on that instrument panel cover and the spring clips will pop loose there. Just lift straight upwards and the goal is to expose um, the two bolts that are to the left and to the right of the AC bezel. So this helps if you have a second uh, set of hands to lift that up or maybe you can shove like a cloth to hold that upwards so you can access the bolts easier. Now you can open the compartment box. If your car isn't on, just grab a hold of that that uh, AC panel and pull it upwards. It'll it'll open manually. If you wedge your trim tool, you can separate the the AC bezel surround. It's that chrome piece that kind of is held in place with clips. Just kind of gently pry it loose. Once one clip is released, the rest will come easier. So grab it firmly and, and pull it straight back.
and you can set that piece aside right now. All right, now we have to remove this lower rubber trim piece. You can use your blue tool to wedge behind it and kind of force it forward like a wedge. It's held in place with two spring clips that will pop loose once you give it enough force um, away from the, the console. Just like that, it pops loose. And now your seven millimeter bolts should be all fully exposed. Use the seven millimeter socket to remove these bolts, shown in yellow there. All right, now with the bolts removed, you can slide that Q unit forward a little bit. What you're trying to do is access the two um, side button harnesses that control your hazards, parking um, sensors, all that stuff. So those have a little tab clip that you just squeeze and it will release. Kind of push the tab in and it will release. To remove the Q system, here's a better look at how those connectors are inserted. The main black power one has a little locking tab you, you push down on it. Same story with the blue video connector there. You just press down on that one. In the video, this one's broken, but you can see how it works. And then finally, there's the USB connector, which kind of uses this latching mechanism. And notice some cars don't have this. Some cars have wireless charging. If that's the case, you'll have a separate white connector that's not shown in this video. Remove that one and, um, and that'll take care of it. All right, so now you can pull the Q unit out of the car and continue on with the second video, uh, step two screen swap to show how to open that up and replace the touch screen. If you need the touch screen, you can always order at qscreens.com on the shop page. I recommend the premium dual mode screen. Uh, we have these in stock as well as a special promo code for the YouTube subscribers. Use code YT5 at checkout to save 5%. You can also expedite shipping if you need that. Hughscreens.com, the most trusted source for the replacement touchscreens.